Hello everyone and welcome back to episode two of the series where we are making the Civic smarter, better, faster, and yes, believe it or not, stronger. In the last episode, we installed an NRG racing seat in the car, it's the Prisma series. I really, really am liking it so far. Believe it or not, it seems like NRG is kind of turning around a little bit, like I really like that seat. Anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be installing a new dual core radiator in the Civic. And you might be asking yourself, why are we installing a new dual core radiator in the Civic when it already has a Mishimoto radiator? Well, the reason that I need to replace the radiator is because this one is leaking. It's caused a lot of cooling issues for this car, and to be honest with you, the reason that the spark plug blew up in cylinder three last year is because this car got too hot. It's this thing's fault, probably. Are you sure about that? That's why I threw in the probably. So today, we're gonna throw in a Skunk 2. Oh, I should probably get the product. So today, am I still in frame? Probably not. So today, we are going to be installing a Skunk 2 Alpha Series uh, dual core radiator. It had pretty good reviews. Some people said it leaked right off the bat. Some people said that it was absolutely awesome the entire time. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in. I also have an aluminum fan shroud for this thing and I have a Mishimoto radiator fan already on this radiator that I'm gonna be reusing. So once this is in, the cooling setup should be pretty solid. And lastly, before we get into working on the car, I am trying to hit 100,000 subs this year. So if you like what you see in this video, if you wanna see the rest of this five part series on the Civic, please click that like button and please click that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's work on the car. Burn my hand in three, two, one. Ah! Danger! Oh man, that's a fuck up, bro. Did you fuck up to get the ball on yourself? Yeah. Oh no. And your blower. John! First it's the oil, now it's the coolant. I've graduated from oil. <laughs> it's all in my sleeve, dude. This, this oh, hoodie is trash for today. Let's give it away if you know what you're looking for. Right. But yeah, he whipped by me. Dude. Right, you stick it in. Oh, I stuck it in. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, that is cool. Actually. And then you, know, you fill it up and then you bleed it. I dig this. The moment of goose. Did you just tighten the frame plug? Yes. <laughs> that was a good question to ask. <laughs> uh, I'm fired. Oh, really? The man of Oh, okay. okay. looks super awesome. I think it's going to function a lot better than the old one. I don't actually know. We're gonna put it to the test here pretty soon. I also just put the interior back in, which is super awesome. Very dark, but back seats are back in. Looking OEM. I'm gonna just go ahead and vacuum out the interior and then head to the car wash, where I'm gonna get some nice cinematics. And also just clean the car, clean the wheels, because we are going to a meet tomorrow morning. You made some friends? I heard there's K24 Turbo. Yeah, K24 Turbo stock motor with a uh, Precision 6062. Front wheel drive. Front wheel drive. Uh, yeah. Got an all-wheel drive trans right now, but still got to order some more parts to make it all-wheel drive. Ah, uh, so you're going for it. Yeah. That's pretty sick. This thing's really clean, too. Yeah. So 
the new radiator is in as you can see I drove it around a bunch with the new radiator and it has been fantastic so far I have absolutely zero leaks from this radiator I don't know if I touched on it enough earlier but this is a skunk 2 racing alpha pro rad it is a dual core radiator and it kept the car nice and cool so I put probably like 50 miles in this car since I installed the radiator it's gotten all the way up to temp it's been sitting in traffic it's been driving on the highway it's been driving on roads and it's done absolutely fantastic no overheating scenarios at all whatsoever and i'm extremely happy with how it looks too like i think it looks so good you know my old radiator was really dirty and when you have something that's really nasty sitting right up in the front of your engine bay kind of just gives your whole engine bay a really bad look so now that there's something nice and shiny and beautiful in the very front it looks so nice I honestly want to get a new one of these little tie down things and I think that would make this front end look so nice. So do I recommend this radiator? 100% I recommend this radiator. It's fantastic so far. Obviously going forward if I have issues with it, I will let you guys know. And that pretty much wraps up this video. Going forward, the next video, what can you expect to see? Well, you should be expecting to see this car get some new cams, a new clutch, and a dyno tune. Hopefully. Also, I started making TikToks and I'm actually leaking a lot of stuff that I'm doing on YouTube. I'm actually leaking a lot of that stuff on TikTok. So if you guys want like legit sneak peeks, like early access to what's going on with the cars, that is where you should follow me. Uh, TikTok is exactly the same as Instagram, at boosted underscore John. Link to that in the description down below. And lastly, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, please click that thumbs up. Also, if you like this video, please click that subscribe button. Again, I'm trying to get 100,000 subs before the end of this year. So if you click that sub button, thank you very much. And lastly, let's plan, commit, execute, and attain our goals, boys. Bye.